Hi friends, welcome back to my channel. I am Becky. Today we are going to be using the Let's Party Collection for our layout. The Let's the Let's Party Collection is the featured collection at Close to My Heart for the month of January 2024. You can see right here I am showing you, that's going to be my title, it says Let's Eat Cake. Only I'm going to cross out the word cake and put donuts in the place. Those are thickers I picked up at Tuesday morning back when ours was still in business. It has closed down, so oh, that's very sad. I hope you guys still have your Tuesday mornings. <laughs> ours is no longer. You can see right here, we are going to start with this piece of paper right here. It is a periwinkle color. Um, it's from the Mix-In Paper Pack, but I love this paper. It, guys, it's like my favorite one, I think love it so i went ahead and gutted it because i want to use that again and again luckily i did pick myself up two packs of <laughs> the mix in paper pack i'm not greedy or anything i just know what i like right you can see right here we are going to go ahead and trim half an inch off of two sides of this paper i'm going to put that down like that i will end up putting later much later on you guys aren't even going to see it because i haven't done it yet but i am going to put a piece of white cardstock back behind the back of that just to make it sturdy so i'm going to be using this piece of paper right here that says the yay 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 on it and see how it's cut or the yay not cut the yay 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 is printed at um, an angle or not printed at an angle but it's in like whoo like a wave pattern i am going to rip the, the paper to follow along that same pattern so it's going to kind of be wavy that's one of those instances where you guys used to hear me talk about it a lot but i would like let the paper guide me and that's one of the instances where i let that happen we are going to go ahead and use these thickers as part of our title it spells out donuts and like i said i am going to be using that let's eat cake and I'm going to cross out the word cake and put down donuts right there. So I am scrap lifting this from a layout I made previously. And I, you know what? I, you might have seen it up front, but I don't have it in here right now. It is um, in one of those chat books I was talking about a couple layouts back. <laughs> I'm not affiliated or anything. That's just what I like to use for inspiration from time to time. Anyways, it's one of the layouts out of that chat bugs book. So I am scrap lifting it. We're going to go ahead and stick this down right here. And then we'll use that sticker strip. That is one of those border strips that is on the Close to My Heart sticker sheet sticker sheets i know in a previous video i was talking about how all our sticker sheets have one note that guys they have two <laughs> They have two of the border strips, not just one. So, yeah, I am going to go ahead and use that on this layout as well. Now, in the previous um, or in the layout that I'm scrap lifting, I don't know if you've seen or not, there is a lot of stitching. We are going to totally forego that step um, altogether. We aren't going to be doing any stitching on this at all. We're going to go ahead and just stick that down as straight as my eye can see. I do want to put a little bit of a border around this photo. I end up going much uh, bigger of a border than I originally had anticipated. I am going to um, mat the photo with the Sundance. Go around it again with the Yay paper, which we are going to be distressing the edges of. I'm just going to trim it out by hand. I don't care if it is straight or not. And I'm going to use the edges of my scissors just to kind of rough that up a little bit. We will do one more final mat. And I'm going to use some of this lift, leftover paper of that periwinkle that I said was my favorite paper. Yeah, we're going to use that again on here as a border around the photo. This one, I wanted to be a little bit more straight, so I do pull out my trimmer to go ahead and trim that up. Now you can see right here, I have a measuring issue. So I'm gonna move that title over a little bit. I hadn't put it down with liquid adhesive yet, but you can see right there, we are gonna have to adjust that title just a little bit. Now I am comfortable where we're gonna make it land. So I am using the liquid adhesive to put that down so that it does not move usually with the foam thickers you don't usually have a problem with um falling off and i do go into my scrapbooks rather fre frequently and i haven't seen any issues with the foam um thickers however the chipboard ones will give you a problem if you don't use extra adhesive i just use the extra adhesive because you know why not so 
I'm going to use a liquid adhesive to put this top page down um, as well. So we're going to build a cl cluster over here. And at first, I'm not really sure what I'm going to use. I pulled out some pieces that were on the sticker sheet and I used that anti-static um, pouch on the back so that they wouldn't be sticky anymore. But I also have a couple cut pieces like that banner right there that has a yay, yay, yay pattern piece pattern paper I just ran that through with a thin cut as well as that tag at the bottom so I'm trying to build clusters I'm gonna try and build one down there at the bottom and one up here at the top as well it does end up changing a little bit as we uh, move forward I cut these tabs out now we have got if if I remember to I will link them down below if not you can go onto the website and look for the thin cuts but we do have these tab thin cuts and I, li I really like them a lot I tried to um, cut out several and I didn't try but I did cut out several of the tabs tried to use on this layout but none of them made it I did end up finding these cute banners right here on the sticker sheet these I didn't originally pull out these I pulled out later I was going to lay them up up down there and I was thinking, well, you know what? I don't have a journaling spot yet. So let me pull out my journaling spot and that can be at the bottom. Then I can move that tag to the top because y'all know I love tags. So I really want the tag to make it. Plus it's cut out of my favorite paper. So I went ahead and moved that to the top and I pulled out one of those journaling spots for down here. Back to that original banner. I am going to use that on... <laughs> This journaling spot down the bottom is just super. I am super excited about this stamp of the month this month for January. It is so cute. I love that you can get now the stamp of the month or you can get the stamp of the month with thin cuts. Like I think the stamp of the month with thin cuts was like $14.99, $15.99. I don't know, something like that. But you get this little piece right here with the notebook punch on the side. Oh, guys. Mm. I think I've used that on the last three or four layouts I've done. I know, but I love that piece so much. Worth it. Uh, anyway, I really like the stamp of the month this month because, you know, I have been using it quite a bit. Here I'm still trying to make that tab work. I can't make it work, which is interesting because usually I can make a tab work on anything, but not on this page. Right here I'm using a piece of the cut off um, little border strip that we use down there on our main piece. I'm going to use it, go ahead and put the remaining bit up here at the top. I'm going to layer this. Um, sticker on there that says it's your day as well as that cupcake sticker you do see down there at the bottom where i layered those banners and up on that uh journaling spot <laughs> that i just kept going on about because i love so much um i also added one of the arrows these are little swirly arrows they were on my last project as well these were off of the stamp of the month with thin cuts too right there is where i just crossed out where it says cake says let's eat donuts because in the photo that's a photo of Candon for his birthday there's a number nine on the top but it is a donut so I thought that'd be really cute for Erin to put in her album and she has a journaling spot down there at the bottom to write on we will add a little bit bit of twine to that tag as well Right here, yeah, I went ahead and attached that with liquid adhesive, like I said earlier. And we're going to go ahead and tie a twine. I am going to be doing some black splatters on this one. I am using the Dilutions Shimmer Spray in Black Magic. We're going to pull that out and splatter that around the page. After I do that, guys, I don't do anything else to this layout. I want to thank you so much for joining me today. If you would like to support my channel, maybe pick yourself up this stamp of the month with thin cuts, because I'm telling you what... That little journal spot is so cute. <laughs> um, uh, yeah, go to beckybidding.closetomyheart.com. I will have that linked down below. I want to thank you so much for joining me, and I will see you next time. Bye, guys.